For those of you that don't know, Dwindle is the distribution company that runs Almost, Blind, Darkstar, Enjoy, Madness, and now Monarch Skateboards. And across their Almost, their Enjoy, and their Madness boards, they have a series called their Impact Light Decks. And these boards come with a carbon fiber inlay in the top layer, which covers the trucks and then runs all the way down towards the other trucks there too. So if you guys have watched any of my videos, you know I'm a big guy, I break a lot of boards, and I'm yet to try one of the Impact Light boards. So I've picked up an 875 Madness board, which is in the impact light but I've had this exact same board in the silver color two times so they're good boards it was pretty solid so the description on these boards that Dwindle are giving says it includes carbon fiber and fiberglass in the critical areas to add strength and maximize pop the carbon fiber creates a stronger more durable board by reducing the flex and channeling more energy to the boards pop so that basically means you're reinforced over the middle of the board and over the trucks too so if you're landing heavy on your tail and your nose you're gonna have a lot more strength there and are less likely to crack or snap the board and since it runs all the way across the middle of the top two I'm assuming that's what it means for the middle of the board but when I break my boards it's when I'm landing heavy onto a flat bar so it breaks from the bottom up so I'm not sure if that's going to help that and then basically it's going to retain its shape and its pop everything about that sounds good but is this board going to live up to everything that Dwindle is claiming it's going to do or is it going to be another one of those gimmicks that try and make you think it's a better board just so you buy it but it really doesn't do anything extra so I'm going to set this up right now and go and skate it and then let you know if it feels any stronger and if if it feels any light up. So the board shape and concave feels exactly the same as the other Madness boards that I've ridden before. So I'm really keen to see the difference between that standard board and this impact light board. So I'm gonna get warmed up and start skating right now and then get into all the tests I wanna do. I usually try and warm up in the transition section of the skate park. because this makes it a lot easier to get your joints and get the blood pumping in your muscles. So I'm gonna do a few tricks in this training section around here just to get my body warmed up. It's actually pretty cold today. That was actually a good warm up, I'm feeling good today. So is this board. This feels a lot more rigid and stiff. When I'm popping, it's like really crispy and snappy. So it was feeling good when I was like popping out of transitions and stuff, but I haven't ollied from flat ground onto any ledges and rails yet. So that's gonna be a true test of the pop and just see how it is locking into different rail grinds and rail slides. So let's get into that next. I didn't actually mean that. I was trying to pop out straight, but because of the curve, it made my shoulders turn. So I'm gonna count that as if I meant to nose guard 180, even though I didn't.
All right, this board is going so well so far. I'm actually having a really good skate. I felt comfortable straight away. I can feel it's really stiff. When I'm popping, there's no flex of the tail. Biggest thing for me when I'm skating, if I'm skating a flat bar and I'm doing either a front lip or a back lip, my board will flex a lot and I'll feel the flexion and the tension of the board flexing over the rail. But on this, I did a few front lips, I did a few back lips, and I didn't feel any flex at all. My front lips are feeling really solid. I don't feel like I'm at risk of cracking or snapping my board at all. In terms of the lightness, the board doesn't feel any lighter than usual just because it's got a carbon fiber inlay on the top layer. Doesn't mean it's gonna make the entire board lighter and I can't feel that it's any lighter. So the only thing I haven't tested now is the flick. So I'm gonna try and do a few flip tricks. Maybe I'll do the straight eight or the straight 12. That'll be the last test just to see how light it is, if it flicks any faster and how it feels as I'm popping. So let's get into that and then I'll give you my final thoughts on whether you should get this board or not. All right, I'm gonna admit all of those flip tricks were pretty sloppy, but I'm exhausted at the end of this session and I couldn't be bothered cleaning them up and doing any better ones. So this board is actually so good. I already knew it would be because I've ridden Madness boards before and I know the shape is good, the concave is good, the size is good, but having that impact light carbon fiber layer in the top layer of the wood definitely made it a lot stiffer and a lot poppier. So I could tell that straight away. In terms of lightness, like I said, I couldn't tell if the board was lighter, but I was popping my tricks a little better and it felt like my board was just picking up off the ground better. So maybe it was a bit lighter, I just couldn't tell if it was any lighter, but it was popping well. I think their claims of the board being really stiff and keeping its strength throughout the life of its board is pretty accurate because the board was so stiff, it was so hard. As I was doing my lip slides, like I said, there was no flex at all. The board felt really solid. Even when I was popping every single trick, I could feel how solid the tail was. There was no flex in the concave of the tail, which I usually feel that with other boards, but in this one had none. So if you guys like enjoy boards, almost boards, or madness boards already, and you happen to come across one in the impact light selection, definitely pick one up and give it a try. It's only $10 extra. I'm pretty sure and if you're a big guy like me and you snap a lot of boards and you need a bit more reinforcement This is definitely going to help you. So I'm impressed by the board So if you like this video check out the review video I did on the Pal Peralta flight deck right here That's another carbon fiber inlay board. That one's a bit more intense, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace